our kindergarten teachers and how we create a, a great system, pre-K, kindergarten for second and third, so that by the time students leave third grade, they're at or above grade level in reading and math. Um, and so that work has been something that I've, I've really focused on intently in my career. So question on the math curriculum in the elementary schools. It's an old issue, but I, I mean, I noticed from the recent scores mm -hmm. that two of the highest uh, scoring schools mm -hmm. were Schmitz Park and North Beach. Mm -hmm. And they are the two which have sort of their own special math curriculum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what um, what's the future of those two curriculum, those two exceptions to your curriculum and, and, and uh, whether there's any conclusion to be drawn from that. So, well, whenever we see success, we need to explore what's successful about it and see how we can replicate it. Uh, we do have, as, as most school systems do, uh, a core curriculum uh, in, in math and in, in a system of our size, um, we just don't have the resources to provide multiple uh, sets of resources. Uh, however, um, we have a core curriculum that teachers supplement um, at their choosing. So I, I walked into a classroom uh, a couple weeks ago um, and the teacher had everyday math, but they also had the Singapore workbooks there because they were supplementing with that. I've been in rooms where they supplemented with other things. So it's not about focusing necessarily on one set of materials, but what are the instructional practices and what are the other things that teachers are doing to make sure that students are, are achieving. So uh, right now, we want to make sure that our teachers have the training and the tools they need to teach math well, uh, regardless of program. But um, you know, I'm talking right now, actually, in the, in the coming weeks with, uh, with the, the principals of those schools. And we want to find a way to support them, um, knowing that uh, we, we just can't have multiple adoptions at this point. We, we just don't have those resources. So as, a, as an educator, I am always going to put the focus on the quality of instruction. Um, you know, the teachers with the right supports and skill sets can take almost any materials and, and run with them. So that's where we need to really put our emphasis. Um, well, Bruce's question reminds me that you guys are actually being sued over math. And so um, are those two schools that show the high gains, do they get waivers to do what they're doing? Correct. And is the solution then to give out more waivers? We're spending a lot of money fighting parents who want more choice in math instruction. And you just gave a good reason why there has to be some core curriculum. Mm -hmm. Everyone can't just do their own thing. Mm -hmm. right? But clearly, Schmidt's part of it. This other school showed that there is room for mm -hmm. some sort of variety. Would you be I open to that? <coughs> well, I think I, I, I would say I was, I've been a member of the curriculum and, uh, and instruction committee of the board working with Susan. We've had some uh, quite uh, interesting conversations about this fall. It, I think I would say that there is some openness to perhaps a little bit higher level of experimentation. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I would actually like the school district's experiments to be set up in such a way in which we could actually determine cause and effect. So as an example, at Schmitz Park, which is in West Seattle, which is my director district, that they do have a waiver and they are doing a wonderful job at that school. The way the experiment and the waiver has been granted, I can't tell if they're doing a wonderful job because the teachers and the principal are extraordinary, the materials are extraordinary, etc. So it's not set in such a way in which I can yet draw a conclusion about it, and particularly in the face of the controversy in the literature about the curriculum itself, we just have to be more thoughtful in setting up those sorts of waivers. But I would like to see, frankly, a little bit more flexibility. We have to balance that with the need to drive a system and the professional development and the financial constraints that are a part of our world. Doesn't um, race to the top encourage that since we're a state without charter schools? Um, if they hear that it's not called a charter, but it acts like a charter, that maybe that 